In this video, we will look at the difference between sharing your desktop screen versus sharing a window versus sharing a PowerPoint file. Okay, so here I am in a meeting, and as you know, we're going to go up here to the share button when we want to share content. And when you click share content, you get a variety of options. One is desktop, one is window, and one is PowerPoint. So what is the difference? So if I share desktop, what this allows me to do is have the flexibility to jump between different windows on my computer or different files. Anything I want to show on my computer, I have that flexibility. Another thing this does is it allows you to separate your meeting window from the content you're sharing in the meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and click desktop here. And what you're going to see is that over here, I'm sharing my desktop. I can now pull up any app or file I'd like. And in this case, I'm using two screens. So one of the things I can do is have this window off to one side and share that screen. And then I can still have my meeting window up here so that I can see all the participants in my meeting and participate in the chat and see what's going on in the chat room. So this is kind of nice to have that flexibility of a separate window of the meeting and a separate window of what you're sharing. Okay, so now to stop sharing my desktop, I'm going to click the X here, the same button but it now has an X on it that will allow me to stop sharing the desktop. Okay, now let's look at what happens when we share a window. So I'm going to go back to share. Now with a window, what this means is we're going to select a specific window that's currently open on our computer to share with the audience. So let's say, for example, that we decided we wanted to share the Edge browser and share only what's in the Edge browser. That means that if I decide while I'm sharing, if I decide to open another window or another file, my audience won't see that. They'll still just be looking at the website or the Edge browser here in this case that I'm sharing. And another thing you'll notice is that you'll have this red line around what you're sharing, the window that you're sharing. So that's an indication to tell you, oh, this is what my audience currently sees. Now, when I'm doing this, I still have that ability to have my meeting window as a separate window uh, to what I'm sharing. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing now. Same button. Now, let's look at what happens when you share a PowerPoint. So that option of a PowerPoint, this allows you to share a specific PowerPoint presentation. The nice thing about this is when you click on the file, it immediately goes into presentation mode. And you have the controls at the top of the screen here. So to advance your slides, you're going to just be clicking up here to go back and forth. All right, now your setting for sharing a presentation allows your audience to step through your slides at their own pace. That's the eyeball right here. If you do not want them to advance the slides on their own, click this eyeball. And now they will not be able to control, you will have control of this presentation. All right. And the other difference here when you present a PowerPoint like this is when you stop presenting, you're not going to go over here and click on the share button. Instead, you're going to click this stop presenting button located here. But you did notice that we were able to see the chat while we were presenting that PowerPoint. And that is helpful as well. All right, so that is the difference between sharing your desktop, a window, and a PowerPoint.